Welcome to this Arnold Clifford Knitwear tutorial on intarsia joins on the diagonal. This tutorial is part of our Little Lessons Intarsia series designed to accompany Modern Daily Knitting Field Guide number 16, Painterly. This lovely field guide is packed full of designs by Kay Fassett that each use the intarsia technique and I hope that these videos in this series will help give you the skills and confidence to tackle any of the projects in the book. You'll find links to the other tutorials in the series in the notes section for this video. On my previous video on intarsia joins, I used this cityscape scarf to demonstrate the join process. And in this scarf, each of the joins happens with the colour change happening on a vertical line. So the yarns are always lying directly in the right place and you're always working the same colour stitches with the same colour yarn. I thought it would be helpful to do a similar video for the watercolour cowl, which is this lovely design here. In the watercolour cowl, you've got a diagonal yarn change. And although it's worked in a very similar manner, it does look ever so slightly different. And it's one of the things that tripped me up when I was first doing Intarsia. So I thought it'd be helpful to film a little video of how it looks so that you can be really confident you're doing it correctly. So here I am working along in the light green yarn and I need to work one more stitch in light green than I did last time. So here's my first stitch using the dark green stitch to knit it in the light green yarn. And now I'm ready to do my intarsia joins so that I can continue with dark green. So I'm going to take my yarn anti-clockwise over and then I'm going to pick up the dark green from underneath and I'm going to move it in that same anti-clockwise direction. So the movement is exactly the same as it was when I was working the vertical intarsia join. And, and in fact, I'm just going to come to one, so I'll show you that it's exactly the same. So anti-clockwise with the dark green, that's the old, and pick up the light green now from underneath. There we go, pick up the light green from underneath and again, it's moving in that anti-clockwise direction. So it's sometimes described as being the old yarn passing over the new yarn but it doesn't look exactly like that on the diagonal, although the movement is exactly the same. So here we come again. Our light green is going to do one more stitch. Obviously I'm holding the yarn in my right hand. It does work in exactly the same way if you're holding the yarn in your left hand, pulling my yarns from the tangle. So I've done my stitch, anti-clockwise over, Oh, dark green picks up and comes round in the same anti-clockwise direction. And when you pick up that new yarn, the stitch that it's attached to is that one you've just knitted. So it's quite easy to over tighten that or under tighten it. So just have a look at it when you pick that yarn up and just make sure you haven't made a mess of that previous stitch on the previous row. And then you're ready to knit the next one and just again, once you've knitted that stitch, just have a look at it and make sure you're happy with it. Okay, and then here we've come to that vertical join again where the colour changes vertical. So anti-clockwise, pick up the new yarn, pull it from the tangle, anti-clockwise again. And we've got one more join to do before the end of the row. Here we go, last stitch in the green. It's going to be knitted in the light green. And then, boom, pick up from underneath and bring it up in the anti-clockwise direction. Look at the stitches, make sure it's not over tightened. Knit it and double check it. And then finish your row. On the wrong side rows, that colour change on the diagonal has worked in just the same way. 
So this next stitch needs to be light green. So we go over in that direction. We pick up the light green from underneath, pull it from the tangle. And it goes all in that anti-clockwise. Move that dark one out of the way now. We're done with it. And you can see that it's making a nice loop along the edge there. Right, and here's our vertical change again. Yarn's going anti-clockwise, new one's being picked up, also going anti-clockwise. Okay, and you can see down the back here, there's the loops join on the vertical. And here's one on the diagonal down here. It's maybe not quite so clear, but it is just the same looped join between the two colours. Okay, so here we're doing the on the diagonal again, going anti-clockwise, picking up and round. You've got a combination of the uh, pearl bumps from the dark green yarn here in the way, but here's our intarsia join. You've got the light green loop there, and then the dark green loop here, light green, dark green, light green, all down that diagonal. And if you look at it on the right side, it's really nice and smooth, and there's no, no gapping or anything like that. It's just nice and even tension. I do hope you found it helpful to see how that intarsia join has worked on a diagonal. It's worked exactly the same on the diagonals, leaning in the opposite direction. You just keep going with that anti-clockwise movement of the two yarns, doing the one you're using first and then picking up the new yarn from below and moving it round. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, then do click the button at the bottom here to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll know when we've released new videos. And we've got a link up top here to take you over to our website where you'll find lots of techniques based books and yarns to help you grow in your knitting skills. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye bye.